Hi everybody, this is Robert at Scott Leroy Marketing. Today we're going to show you how to connect your directnick.com custom domain to your KW website powered by Playster. It's essentially the same process as anywhere else. We're just updating a couple of DNS records and then adding the custom domain to the Playster backend. Um, it's just where to do that that varies from one uh, domain provider to another and that's what we're going to go through here for directnick.com. Once you're logged into directnick.com, it'll take you to your dashboard and we're going to go over here to manage domains. If you have multiple domains, it'll have a dom an S at the end there. We'll click on that button and it will list our domains that are available to be edited right here. We're going to click on the name of the domain and then we're going to on the right side under services click on manage next to DNS. And then on this page, we're going to create a couple of records, but we want to double check a few things. We're going to stay in the A record section, then we'll scroll down to the bottom here and see what A records are here currently. We want to delete any that don't have anything before the domain name. So if they're empty there, um, these two A records right here that are going over to this other IP, we want to delete those. So we're going to use our trash can over here on the right, and we want to confirm that delete. And then for some reason, there's a second one here going to that same uh, IP address. So we're going to confirm that delete as well. And it looks like there are actually four more. I'm not sure why there are that many there, but we're going to delete all of those because we need to replace those with just one. And then we also want to delete any of these www.a records because we're going to create a CNAME record for www instead, and that would interfere with that. So we need to delete these as well. And you'll notice this last record here, this MX record, we want to leave that the way it is. And we also want to leave this mail A record the way it is. We just want to delete the ones that are plain or WWWA records. Once we're done with the A records, we want to scroll back up and we're going to switch over to the C name record section. And we're going to scroll down and make sure there aren't any other C name records that are going to anywhere else. It looks like there aren't any. So we're going to create a new C name record and we're going to make this www. And then for the IFQDN, we're going to be going to domains.myrealestateplatform.com. So that's domains with a plural uh, S at the end, dot myrealestateplatform.com. And then for preference, we are going to have to choose a preference. One is just fine there. We're going to come down and click on add record. Your record has been added. And then we also need to add an A record. So we're going to switch back over to the A record section and we're going to go under create an A record. We're going to put in our at symbol in name right here. And for the IPv4 address, we're going to put in 192, or excuse me, 184.169.141.142. That's 184.169.141.142. Dot one four two. There should be three dots in there. And for this one, we don't have to choose a preference. We're going to leave Use Dynamic DNS unchecked and scroll down and just click Add Record. OK, apparently we are going to have to add a preference, so we'll do a one there also. There we go. Our record has been added. Now we're going to go over to our MyKW homepage so that we can add that custom domain into our Playster interface. So from our MyKW homepage, we're going to hover over technology in the top black menu here. Then we'll click on KW websites. Then we'll click on go to my website. And then once we're in the Playster interface over on the left under quick actions, we'll do edit site. And then we'll scroll down under the more section and go to custom domain. And then in here is where we're going to put in that uh, custom domain that we're working on over here. So our custom domain is feverett.com. So we have to include www.feverett.com. And then we'll click on Add Domain. Now, in most places on the internet, you do not have to include the www. In this one place, it is absolutely required. You have to have the www. and then the rest of your custom domain. So we're going to click on Add Domain over on the right. And then we'll scroll down and click Save. And then we may need to wait a minute or two for those uh, forwarding options and the things on the DNS to update across the internet. In fact, it sometimes can take up to 24 hours. But eventually, if we go to feverett.com, it will take us to our Playster site. So that's how you can connect your directnick.com custom domain to your KW website powered by Playster. If you have trouble with this, feel free to reach out to us at support at scottleroymarketing.com. We can actually do this for you. Thank you and have a great day.